Hi, it's Monday. My turn to thank you all once again. As per usual, I have five questions for you this week. Moving on to number one. Greatest risk you have taken? I've taken many, many risks in, in my life. Um, but I'm going to go with when I was on holiday with my daughter. We went for an outing. Now this outing was you went down to a path and it led to a waterfall. Um, not far away from the waterfall there was stepping stones, seven stepping stones going across the river. The river was about two and a half feet deep. You could see the bottom anyway. Well, my daughter, she went over the other side. Um, somebody behind me said, if I was him, I would take my shoes off to go over if I'm going. And I said, nothing, Pentrip, nothing gained. At the size moment, I had three inch high heels. And I started to walk over on these stones. Now, it, they were close to the waterfall, which the stones was wet, with the river going down through as well. Um, my daughter was shaking her head. People behind me were shaking their head, waiting for me to fall in. But once I got to the other side, Everybody behind me started clapping their hands. That was the risk I would say that I'd taken. Yeah. Moving on. How politely could you end a conversation with a person who is so annoying? Me personally, I would just turn around and say, Excuse me, uh, I've got to go, I need the toilet. With that, I would move off. Yeah. Moving on. Flattering compliment ever received. <laughs> That's quite easy. Quite going back a good few years now. Um, I went Western Supermare. Now I was heading towards a clothes shop. And a man opened up the door and said, Ladies before gentlemen. I said, Thank you very much. He said, You're welcome. I went in and then he went in after me. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Most vulnerable thing you've learnt in life. <laughs> vulnerable thing I've learnt in life is don't trust anybody. I can't really trust anybody um, with anything. If I say anything I don't want to know for well it has spread like wildfire. Yeah. So I've got a hard job um, to actually trust people. There is a few at the precise moment there is a few but I don't know, in the back of my mind, um, time will tell. Yeah. Moving on to number five and last. Something funny you remembered as a kid. <laughs> well, I was 14 at the time, I would say. Uh, my brother, he was 19. Every Saturday, we used to get fish and chips bring it back home and we sit and have our fish and chips but we always played a game whoever finished their fish and chips first then has to try to pinch um, chips off of the other person's plate sort of like a Tom and Jerry sort of type thing my brother always finished his fish and chips well before me. 
and he pinched quite a few of my fish and chips. There was one particular time I actually finished my fish and chips before him. <laughs> um, well, I went and tried to pinch his fish and chips. And every time I tried, he whacked me on my wrist with his fork. Mm, yeah, every time. So I didn't have any of his chips. But he always had a few of my chips. Mm, yeah. So, the ones that I'm tagging, if you don't already know, is as follows. DC. Dave. Dave Nixon. Axmus. The legend. Our king, our very own dork. Stevie, <laughs> I'm not going to say it anymore because you're not. No. Stevie, yeah. And Lee Antic. And may I say thank you, Leanne, for doing last week's tag. Much appreciated in seeing you here on YouTube. Thank you very much. You don't need to do this tag if you don't want to, but anybody else would, then please feel free to do so. Thank you for watching. God bless. Take care.